Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news alongside Marvelous Designer. Now, this news is uh, something that a lot of people might not really find exciting, while some people will find it exciting, depending on what part of the spectrum that you fall in. So, Marvelous Designer has been a very wonderful tool for artists. I mean, a whole lot of people actually use this for creating realistic clothing and you just simply go all the way out, make high quality garments and use amazing tools and just simply create a lot of things. On the other hand, Marvelous Designer on its own has constantly updated their tools and they've updated a lot of things over time. And if you take a look at the new features that is right now in Marvelous Designer 9.5, there are a whole lot of things. And for the purposes of those who doesn't know, I mean, in case you're going to complicate the idea of what Marvelous Designer is and what Cloud 3D is, Cloud 3D is the guys, creators and managers and you know, they are the guys in charge of creating Marvelous Designer. Now the only difference between Cloud 3D and Marvelous Designer is Marvelous Designer is targeted to artists or targeted for artists while Clo, on the other hand is made with the intent of real life measurements, real life cloth design and this is more like the, you know, the huge difference between the both of them. But Marvelous Designer is going through a given route and that is the same route that Clo 3D has actually been on for a while. And this is subscription. So just in case you have no idea, the brand new news that is available right now is Marvelous Designer 10 will be subscription based. Now they're actually releasing this prior to the release of Marvelous Designer 10, which will be coming very soon. I mean, there are a couple of updates. They've had a couple of contests here and there. A week or two ago, we talked about the Steam sale where they had a discount, but now you might probably want to come through and read this for yourself. Because right now, Marvelous Designer 10 would be having some license changing. From the blog here, they are saying that if you're purchasing Marvelous Designer as a brand new person, as a brand new artist, that this will be subscription based. So if you're getting these as a personal license, enterprise license, or academic license, you will be paying for either monthly, annually, and this is going to be based on your preference of license that you're getting. On the other hand, if you already have a perpetual license before, there are certain, you know, I wouldn't want to call them uh, bridges that they're creating, but they're just sort of creating some modalities or ways that you would be able to stay afloat from now till when they get to Marvelous 12. So right now, if you already own Marvelous Designer as a perpetual user or if you own a perpetual license, there are certain things that they are putting in place just to accommodate perpetual users for a very short time. Now, I wouldn't want this to get to that point where we had with, you know, Maxon Cinema 4D where they had to release a software only for subscription users at a point and then if you had already owned a perpetual license you have to wait till maybe quarter mid of the year before you can get all of the tools that is coming with it i wouldn't want this to get to that point you know i would really really suggest that if the guys from marvelous designer are doing this they should also consider artists that just wants to own the tool and own it for a very very long time me for one i love to pay for a software and just simply own it and get updates probably just pay for the updates that comes contrary to getting a software that you have to pay you know monthly then what if the project doesn't finish in a month what if you have you know technical issues in that month all of these things are things that will cause setback for artists and this is one of the reasons why i think a lot of people wouldn't want to go through the subscription route but Right now, it seems that this is where and how the guys from Marvelous are going. And I also think that if uh, you're looking forward to getting Marvelous Designer right now, you might want to consider the abilities, the tools, the stuff that it has, and probably purchase it now that you still have the opportunity to get this as a perpetual license. But up until then, if Marvelous Designer 10 comes out, if you don't own Marvelous Designer before that happens, you might just simply, you know, uh, pay for subscription, which might not really be like the best thing for indie artists, especially. So this is it. I have actually gone over to Steam as well, and it is still available on Steam. So if you want to get Marvelous Designer, you know, 9.5, you can still get this from Steam. Right now, this costs about 2,100 Turkish Lira, which is approximately $300. And 
I mean, if you're thinking about getting these, I guess you can proceed to get this. Hopefully, they don't, you know, include the whole subscription idea towards the Steam, and it simply stays the way it is, as this would definitely benefit a lot of people. And if we simply go over to the website right now, you would notice that if you want to get these as a personal license, you can either get these at $50 per month, $300 as an annual subscription, or you can get it perpetually for $4.90. So if you're getting this from Steam, you might be getting it at a very good rate. But if you want to get this as a perpetual license, you'll be paying $490 for this. Now for Academic, there's also something for them. And also for Enterprise, this is also something for them. Now, no one really knows how much it's going to be costing when this subscription thing comes out. But this to me, actually comes with a couple of mixed reaction because we've seen a lot of companies go subscription and the updates that they get is just little to nothing and we've also seen a lot of companies that have chosen not to go through subscription and they keep coming up with heavy and very cool updates and of course there are tons and tons of apps out there that would get you cloth simulation really quick we already covered a couple of them we've talked about the gamma tool we've talked about maya we've also seen a couple of updates for volume that deals with houdini and we've also talked about simply cloth which is an amazing plugin that i've actually proceeded to use so this is you know this is all about it marvelous designer is making some license changes and i don't know what you guys think about this but i would like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section do you think this is a way forward or do you think this is going to limit the development cycle tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace